going on guys? It's Live from New York and I'm back with another pickup video. That's right. Now, last two videos we played a little bit of catch up. Now we're all caught up. And this video is going to be this week's pickups. So like I always say, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. So let's get right into it. So I get to this random ass garage sale. I was just following signs from like one of the main roads. And I don't really see any game stuff, but I asked the person running the garage sale, you know, do you have any games for sale? And she says, oh, you know, I have a couple of games inside. And she comes out with a little box and it has like some PS2 games, some GameCube games, a couple of loose Genesis cartridges, and uh, two Sega CD games. Now, the Sega CD games are nothing great. It was like a hockey game and a football game, but they were in like mint condition. So I asked her, do you have any more of these? And she's like, yes, I have more of these and I have the system. And when she says that, the first thing I'm thinking, she has the system. So it could be one of four systems. It could be one of the two add-ons, or it could be the JVC XI or the CDX. So before I even get excited, I'm like, well, I'd be interested in the system and the games if you have it. So she goes inside, and she takes a couple minutes, I guess, because she had to unplug the wires and everything. And she comes out with another box, and I see a Model 2 sticking out the top. So instantly, I'm like, okay, it's just a Model 2 with the side loader. Nothing crazy. And she puts the box down, and I'm going through it, and I take out the Genesis, but there's nothing attached to it. So I'm like, okay. Under that was the Sega CD games, which also were all in perfect condition with the styrofoam, everything. And when I'm going through the Sega CD games, under it, I see the Sega CDX, the bottom of this box. And I think to myself, wow, what are the odds of me finding a Sega CDX at a garage sale? So up top you see the Sega logo, and under that is the Genesis cartridge slot. There's the Genesis CDX logo. It says Multimedia CD-ROM Entertainment System. And here's a small window so you can see if there's a game loaded inside, and if there is, which game, I guess. And the cop back this logo. Now up front we have the CD controls. We have the reset button, stop, play, pause, uh, fast forward or skip to the next track, and rewind or skip to the last track. In the center we have the LCD screen. Here's the uh, drive open button. Pop that and it pops up. And I thought it only moved up this much but uh, you can pull it up a little bit more so it clicks into place. Uh, two levels. Up front we have the power button right here and the uh, two control slots. On this side of the system, it just has the AV out. And I would have liked for this to have been on the back of the system, but you'll see why it's not. <clears throat> on the left side, we have the AC adapter port and a diagram showing you uh, which way to put in the batteries, which is why I'm assuming the AV out is on this side instead of the back because there's a door right here where you can put in the batteries and that's probably blocking the entire back of the unit. Now the reason for the battery slot is this can be used as a portable CD player. Now this came out in early 1994 and I was only eight years old so I don't really remember how big portable CD players were back then but I mean this seems like kind of big to me to be walking around with but what do I know people used to walk around with you no know, big ass boom boxes on their shoulder and shit so but anyway uh, this side we have the battery door up top drop two AA batteries in there a line out volume slider and a headphone jack as you can see it's in pretty good cosmetic condition it is over almost 20 years old now on the bottom, we have all the information. This was manufactured in May 1994. And according to the Sega CDX registry on Sega16.com, uh, May 1994 is the latest year recorded for the manufacturer of the Sega CDX. With my serial number and manufacture date, this is the uh, latest known 
manufactured Sega CDX. So I went to this garage sale and the ad said it was only on a Sunday. So I figured, you know, it's a good chance of me finding something there if I get early. And when I get there, uh, you know, I look through the tables and I don't really see anything, but they had a cardboard box and in the box was like basically two separate lots. And the first lot was a uh, Sega Saturn. I believe this is model two. It's in pretty good condition. This came complete with two controllers. And all the hookup cables works great. All right, so they're nothing great. I'm just gonna run through the Saturn games really fast. Uh, NFL Quarterback Club 96. The case is broken, but it has like the manual and it's complete. So that's cool. Madden 97. Uh, again, it has the manual and the like fold-out poster. These didn't have the styrofoam in them though. World Series Baseball 2, which is actually cool. Me and my brother used to play this a lot. When we got our Saturn, his friend pretty much gave it to him, and we had this game and Fighting Vipers, and we never got anything else for the Saturn except for Tomb Raider. I had a lot of fun with this. I gotta play this. PGA Tour 97 before uh, Tiger Woods got the cover. They had this old fart on it, and complete the manual. No styrofoam insert again. Next is loaded. It's complete. All right. So next to the Saturn, he also had this Super Nintendo. Pretty good condition. It's not really yellowing. It's slightly discolored. But uh, the only thing that's wrong with it really is the purple is a little bit darker here than normal, which I've never seen. It's kind of weird. But I mean, it doesn't affect the system at all. And that came complete with uh, you know all the wires, first party, and two controllers. And uh, he actually had a box copy of uh, NBA Jam with the tournament edition. It has like these rental stickers all over it, and it's like ripped. It's not in good condition at all. It's not complete. It's just the manual and the cartridge inside. But I mean, he just threw it in with the system. Now, he basically had them set up as lots. He wanted $20 for the Nintendo lot and $20 for the Saturn lot. As always, you gotta try and bundle it up. I told him I'm interested in the Super Nintendo and the Saturn. So I asked him how much he'll do if I pick up both lots and he thinks about it. He says 35, I offer 30, he thinks about it. And you know, we agree on 30. You know, now that I think about it, you know, the past couple weeks I've been like on a complete Sega streak. Like, you know, it's kind of crazy because I really don't ever see any Sega stuff around here. I mean, I got that Dreamcast a couple weeks ago, but aside from that, I just see a lot of uh, PlayStation, a lot of Xbox. Sometimes I'll see some Nintendo stuff if I'm lucky. And now, you know, I've been finding a lot of Sega stuff, so I'm not complaining. I, I love Sega. I had all the systems growing up. Like, I was a Nintendo kid, and my brother was a Sega kid. So between us, we had it all, you know. I had the NES, 
and Super Nintendo. He had the Genesis. He had the Dreamcast. Uh, he did get the PlayStation, though, but we kind of shared that one, so it's cool. And once again, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Live from New York signing out, and peace.